XCMG Firefighting Safety Equipment Company Limited. Maintenance and Service Video. GTJZ 1212 Scissor Aerial Work Platform. Safe and reliable. Steady work. Flexible and effective. Energy saving and environment friendly. Basic function. GTJZ 1212 Scissor Aerial Work Platform boasts full functions, powerful and flexible, completely enabling to meet the construction conditions such as installation, welding, maintenance, repair, transportation and others at building site, warehouse, indoor space and others. GTJZ 1212 Scissor Aerial Work Platform has the maximum platform height at 11.8 meters and the maximum work height at 13.8 meters. In addition, vehicle is 1.19 meters wide. Work platform has maximum load rated at 320 kilograms and the extending platform has 115 kilograms of rated load, prolonging longitudinally by maximum 0.9 meters. Multiple traveling modes could be interchangeable. Besides, vehicle could run in full travel or run in automatic limited way when platform is in air. Zero turning radius enables vehicle to flexibly move even in narrow room. 25% of grade ability facilitates vehicle to be unloaded, loaded easily. Detailed layout and configurations. Work platform. Entire work platform. Subplatform fully extending out. Pedal switch. Subplatform fully retracting in. PCU locations. Scissor boom. Entire boom. Arrangement of pipeline. Repairing bracket. Chassis. Front, rear wheels and steering system. Left and right pallets. Counterweight and rear wheels. Arrangement of pipeline. Deploy the left pallet. Battery set. Charger. Main power supply switch. Deploy the right pallet. Main control valve. Oil return filter. Hydraulic oil tank. Power unit. Motor drive. Undercarriage control panel. Pit protector. Basic Operations Before work, check the work site and the vehicle and make sure the vehicle is under normal power on. Pull out the main power supply, red and at left side. Pull out the e-stop switch on the lower control panel. Pull out the e-stop switch on the upper control panel. Don't do so until all the switches are pulled out and the machine is powered on. Operations on undercarriage control panel. Console on one side of chassis could lift or lower the platform. The console is also equipped with a key switch able to exchange between upper structure and undercarriage. E-stop switch and timer. 
up down switch timer used to record how long the machine has worked demonstration of actions key switch three gears with machine powered on turn it towards the upper right changing to upper structure control mode turn it to horizontal position cutting off the main power of machine and thus losing the control of entire machine turn it towards the lower right changing to undercarriage control mode e-stop switch press it down or pull it out in emergency immediately shutting down machine undercarriage control switch in order to raise or lower the platform you have to upward toggle this switch and up down switch at the same time note for certain vehicle models PCU operations from superstructure PCU with a spring wire above the work platform enables us to work by standing on the work platform or one side of vehicle PCU could control the platform to lift or lower allow the vehicle to run at high low speed and steer and is equipped with a horn or e-stop switch for warning and emergency control. Demonstration of actions. Clockwise rotate the key switch to change the upper structure mode. Lift button. To activate the lift mode, press this button and its indicator lights up. With the enabling button pressed down, forward push handle platform starting to go up. Otherwise, backward pull it. Platform down. When boom clearance becomes approximately 7 centimeters, the platform is suspended. In such case, release handle and wait 3 seconds before continuously controlling the handle to lower the platform to the traveling position. Select the travel mode. To activate the travel mode, press this button and its indicator lights up. When the enabling switch is pressed down, forward push the handle. Vehicle runs forwards. Otherwise, backward. With the enabling switch pressed down, press the left turn button. Vehicle steers to left side. Press the right turn. Vehicle turns to right side. Button for exchanging between high and low speeds. Under the uplifted mode, its indicator lights up, automatically changing to low speed mode. Under the low altitude mode, press this button, changing between low and high speeds. Horn. Press this button. Horn sounding out for warning and avoidance. E-stop switch. Press this button, cutting off the power of entire system. Clockwise rotate this switch, releasing it. Daily maintenance and emergency operations. Daily maintenance of battery. Keep the battery surface clean and dry with vent uncovered. Check the battery wires and other circuits. Fill the battery needing to be maintained with the electrolyte. It is prohibited to add any electrolyte into the maintenance-free battery. Daily maintenance of hydraulic system. Replenishment of hydraulic oil. Change of hydraulic oil. Replacement of hydraulic oil filter element. 
replace it at least two years or shorter depending on its service environment. Pay attention to the fact that the hydraulic oil level varies with different vehicles. For details, see the maintenance manual. Lubrication. The interface of sliding part should be greased. Note that all the bearings are maintenance free, grease unneeded. Emergency drop. Platform drops by itself with the E drop handle. Demonstration of brake being released. Press the black brake handle inwards. Continuously press the brake. Release handle to the end. At this time, brake is released, enabling to manually push vehicle forwards. Demonstration of how to use the maintenance bracket. Before the inspection of boom, raise the platform and then drop it to safety jack stay. After the use, return the safety jack stay back. Caution! For the vehicle with two maintenance brackets, upper and lower, these two should be used at the same time. E-stop button. In case of any abnormality, Press this button to stop all actions. This video merely shows part of operations and maintenance. For physical operations and maintenance, please carefully read the illustration and manual.